I'm Kobe from the HVIA. Let's take a look at some of the electric trucks on show this year at the Brisbane Truck Show. I'm here with Tony, the founder. Tony, what do you got here today? Well, Kobe, we've got a, a range of our products on the uh, on the stand today. Uh, behind you there, we've got our uh, what we call our 85E, so it's an eight and a half ton, um, fully electric, Eno based. Uh, it's uh, based on our um, what we call our C Drive 120A, 138 kilowatt hour of battery, a 1500 newton meter motor. And then behind me, we've got our smaller model. It's known as a 45E, four and a half ton version. Um, it's a similar concept, a smaller battery pack and slightly smaller motor. We're here at the Hino stand and behind us is their little 300 series hybrid. Now, this offers a pretty good bridging solution if you don't want to jump straight to a dedicated EV without the range limitations because you can always just fill the diesel tanks back up. Now, I tested these in Sydney a couple of weeks ago and I got a genuine 22% fuel use saving. So they do work, the system's proven and it's in its 15th year of operation. Take a look at it. We're here at Aveco and behind me, they've brought their e-daily in from Italy. Now this is a prototype vehicle and we don't expect to see it on Australian roads for a couple of years, but it offers a genuine competitor to brands like Mercedes, Ford, LDV, and many others that have got electric vans already in our market. This one, we're told, will have a range of about 300 kilometers, which is pretty impressive. but we finally have a little N-series Isuzu truck that's electric. And this one's smaller than most because it's a little three and a half ton Japanese model that was shipped over here just for the show. And the exciting news is Isuzu's about to start testing these trucks from the end of this year in Australia. Within a couple of years, you'll be able to buy one. Behind me, we have Volvo's all electric FE model. This is a medium duty truck that's already out on our roads and it's a, uh, it's a proven success story for the brand that's rapidly electrifying their range. And over here, we've got the larger FM model, which is about to start trials and operation on road shortly. We're at the Daimler truck stand and here we've got the Fuso Ecanter range, the latest generation, but these have been running around Australia silently for quite a few years now. And then the bigger stuff, the Mercedes-Benz E-Econic and E-Actros. Now, you can't order one yet, but they are currently being trialled in Australia. Here with Lex from Janus Electric, you're the CEO, talk us through this new design, because last time you were at the show, the batteries went in the front. Yeah, we had a, we've had a bit of a change in the design, so what we've done is we've created a conversion module now that goes directly in the front of the truck where the diesel engine came out from, so that there's no modification to the vehicle at all. It still looks like the truck that it comes in to be converted, and what we've done is we've actually now put our exchangeable batteries on the side, and we've reduced the weight of the, the battery pack so that we can actually cater for getting that weight off that steer axle and bringing it back on the truck. The other side of that is we're able to use a smaller forklift now to change the battery, so you just change it with a standard two and a half ton forklift, and it, it speeds up the process of the of the battery exchange as well too. You've thought of everything. Uh, is, this a, is this engineering and, and transport knowledge coming together and building a, a practical solution? Yeah, so my, my other co-founder, Bevan Dooley, he's a, he's a uh, mechanical engineer by trade. And uh, so it's just my experience from transport and Bevan's experience in engineering and, and our team. Like we've got an amazing team down at the factory. Okay, we're on the Packard stand and we've got something pretty interesting here. It's a Kenworth T680 hydrogen fuel cell vehicle developed alongside Toyota. We're here with Jonathan. Jonathan, what do you do at Packer? Yeah, my name's Jonathan Crellin. I'm the product program manager, uh, manager for zero emission fuels at Packer. So I'm responsible for hydrogen and battery electric trucks and how we can make them apply in Australia. So perfect guy to be talking about these models. Um, tell us why you did this vehicle or, or why you built it. Okay, this is a joint development with uh, Toyota and Packer in North America. Um, it was an $82 million project called the Shorter Store Project. As I said, it was a real first real world test of hydrogen fuel cell trucks in real world applications. So there were real customers driving these trucks. They were doing about 800 kilometres a day. Packer and Toyota developed so much learnings out of this that they're so confident about it. The Advanced Clean Technology Expo in uh, Anaheim, California at the start of this month, um, Toyota and Packer announced that they're going into production with these trucks in 2025. Well, very impressive stuff. And then behind us, we've got a battery electric option from Packer, and this is the DAF LF. 
Do you want to talk us through this one? What are we working with? Okay, this is a DAF LF electric. Um, it's in limited production in the UK. Uh, we've brought this out to Australia for evaluation purposes, okay. and we're going to put this to use ourselves as a parts delivery truck and limited trial for customers. We want to understand the use of this in the in Australian application. So, anyway. Impressive stuff, and, uh, and great to see Packer pushing in the uh, hydrogen and electric space. Yeah. Thanks for your time. All right, thank you.